And it is primary night in Clark County. We had both a landslide victory and a very narrow defeat. Former Congressman Ruben Kewen fell out of the race for city council by just five votes. Meantime, Las Vegas Mayor Carolyn Goodman will keep her seat for four more years, winning some 83% of the vote. We have live team coverage tonight. Politics Now co host Patrick Walker is looking at some of tonight's closest races. But we begin with Shakela Alvaranga, who was downtown when the race was called in favor of Goodman. Shakela? Well, Brian and Denise, Carolyn Goodman was favored to win tonight's race. She won by more than 20,000 votes. Now, Goodman's watch party was held at Oscar Steakhouse downtown. The 80-year-old will serve as the mayor of Las Vegas once again for the next four years. Carolyn Goodman announced her cancer diagnosis in January. Tonight, her husband, Oscar, called her courageous. He said she underwent her fourth chemotherapy treatment on Friday, and though she did get a chance to vote this morning, she wasn't feeling well and decided to stay in tonight. That's the first time that she showed any kind of reaction of a nature that she wasn't as strong as she says she is. But this woman, my wife, is remarkable. Uh, she's something so special. I wish she would run for president of the United States, to be honest with you. Goodman was reelected back in 2015. She has used her term in the office to push for Las Vegas's medical district and to bring pro sports to the city. She was up against six other challengers. Because she won more than 50% of the vote tonight, she will skip the June general election. This historic night will start what will be 24 straight years with a Goodman in City Hall by the time her term is up. And Oscar says his wife, Carolyn, she will be at tomorrow. Tomorrow city council meeting. Back to you. Well, while the mayor's race wasn't even close, there was some tight contest for sure tonight. So close that you could vote the votes between, count the votes between who made it and who didn't on one hand. Politics Now co host Patrick Walker has been watching the returns all night and is here to break it down for us. Well, Denise, if you think your vote doesn't count, tonight's Las Vegas City Council Ward 3 race, it's about the best example there is to show you why that is not the case. So why? Well, voter turnout for the municipal elections were the second lowest in the last 20 years. Total turnout was 8.8 percent. The total election day turnout day of today, 2.6 percent. And Boulder Highway had the highest, uh, Boulder City rather, at 33.7 percent. Everyone else was in the 7.5 to 8 percent ra uh, range. So in Ward 3, it came down to the wire. The top two move on with 39 percent of the precincts reporting. At the time, former Congressman Ruben Kewen had been in second place, just 12 votes ahead of the third place challenger, Melissa Clary. But that flipped. Clary cleared Kewen by five votes and moves on to the general election along with former Assemblywoman Olivia Diaz. We caught up with Diaz earlier. Earlier tonight. They're sharing public safety as a top priority. They're sharing homelessness. They're sharing wanting to have more green spaces and parks. And they're also sharing about making sure that our um, neighborhoods are not overlooked. Talking about some top priorities there. Now, in Ward 1, Brian Knudsen racked up 27% of the vote. He moves on to the general election along with Robin Munier, a top aide to outgoing Ward 1 councilwoman Lois Tarkanian. In North Las Vegas, incumbent Richard Churchill survived a challenge from a candidate backed by Mayor John Lee. Churchill fell just short of retaining his seat outright. He faces Pete Shields in the general. The Lee backed candidate, George Warner, placed third. In Boulder City, two freshman city councilmen each Counted challenges to current Mayor Rod Woodbury. Woodbury got 42% of the vote. Councilman Kieran and McManus got 40%. Other and fellow councilman Warren Harhay received the other 18%. Finally, there will be a newcomer on the Henderson City Council. Longtime city employee Michelle Romero racked up 60% of the vote, wins the Ward 1 seat outright. Dan Shaw, Dan Stewart retaining their seats on the council as well. Now, we will have a full recap and analysis on a special edition of Politics Now this Sunday at 4 p.m. right here on Channel 8. Denise. All right, busy.